All right, guys. Welcome back. So my uh, GoPro battery actually died when I was in the middle of sliming my second tire. So we finished up the maintenance for now. We tightened the brake cables and then we cleaned off some of the uh, rust from our cassette. Lastly, we slimed our tires with armadillos, green armadillos. And right now I'm just going throttle, I'm not pedaling. And we got Spencer on the back. So we're just riding around, testing out the bike after its minor maintenance. Let's switch gears. The electric XP has been a little neglected since I've been riding the XP a lot more. But we're just going for a little test ride. Okay, we're gonna test out one brake at a time. So let's do the back brake first. Yeah, that feels, feels a lot tighter. Then we'll do the front brake. feels better much better I do have a little squeak but at least there's no um, no wheel rub I mean uh, no brake rub I've actually uh, haven't been recording that much new content lately um, right now I'm kind of just uh, editing some backlog I've been busy and uh, for a week I was actually feeling under the weather had a bad head cold. If you guys have any um, any suggestions on what type of videos you want to see, then uh, leave it in the comments below. Now that I got this uh, these tires slimed, I have a little bit more confidence in them. So maybe I'll take the XP on some off-road trails and see how it performs. So for any of those. Uh, viewers that may be new to e-bikes or just bikes in general um, you don't necessarily have to you don't necessarily have to max out your the recommended PSI at the max PSI you'll probably get the best range but they're also going to be a little bit of a stiffer ride you know they don't they won't give as much but if you lower the psi if you want to take it off road uh, it'll have a softer ride the wheels will have a softer ride in general they'll provide a little bit more cushion but it's going to reduce your range that's squeaking I think that's my uh, suspension seat post. That's the only suspension that I have on this bike. After doing that maintenance on my uh, on my bike, it does feel better. The brakes feel better. After uh, reinflating my tires, the ride feels smoother. Set up the bike to your preferences. Make sure you do your regular maintenance. If you're not really uh, into doing that, bring it to a bike shop, have them have them uh, do your maintenance. But I don't really know anything about bikes, like I said, in terms of uh, maintenance. So I'm just trying to teach myself and uh, just learn by doing. Um, talking about preferences, some people prefer to slime their tires. Some people prefer tire liners or some people just don't do anything and just go uh, stock with everything if you do go the sliming route just one thing to note is that if you do slime it and for whatever reason the slime does not fill the hole if the full if the uh, puncture was too big and the uh, slime isn't able to fill it you're not gonna be able to use a patch kit if I'm out I'm hoping that 
this line would do its job and I wouldn't even know that I got a puncture that would just fill up. So we'll see how this armadillos uh, holds up. I'm at just a little bit over 300 miles right now, 314. So those first 300 miles, I rode uh, stock. I didn't get any flats. So it seemed like the, the wheels, the tires that came on it did its job for the most part. I didn't ride too crazy, but I do mostly ride on the streets. Occasionally I'll go off-road, but not, not much. But now I'm a little bit more confident in going off-road now that I slime them. So we'll test it out more off-road and then we'll give you an update maybe around like 500 miles or or more we'll see i don't have as many miles as some of those uh og riders out there have but i do uh switch my rides up if i'm not riding the xp i'm riding the x class if i'm not riding the x class i'm riding one of my one meals and uh so I do share my mileage between all my uh, electric rideables. It's been probably a little bit over a year, a little bit over a year that I've been uh, adventuring with my electric rideables. I think I got my first one wheel, the one wheel pint, um, either July or August of last year. So we're right around that mark. And it's been a fun year. Besides having uh, snow or rain, I'm uh, usually biking. Or, unless I'm sick or injured, of course. Those are the only things that are keeping me from uh, riding one of my electric rideables. I haven't been uh, recording all my rides lately. I've kind of just uh, wanted to chill out from having to vlog all the time. I know it's only been a few months of me doing this, but it's always good to have a little self-care or just uh, some time to take breaks from uh, your normal routines to break things up. So I've been uh, riding, riding my bikes and everything, but I just haven't been vlogging. I haven't been picking up the camera. I just would go out and just uh, kind of do my thing, just chill out, relax, take care of yourself break up the monotony of uh, whatever your uh, routines are just to keep you sane. Uh, one thing that I really want to do but have been having trouble doing just because I don't really know many people in the area or don't have the connections or maybe there just not might be any people that aren't into it but I'm looking for looking to do group rides you know with uh, other people in the area if you guys know of any group rides uh, around the New Jersey, New York area, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm looking to do any kind of rides, any PEVs, electric rideables, one wheel, e-bikes. It's always more fun to ride with other people than by yourself. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the content. If you do, please consider subscribing. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, leave a comment below. And make sure you maintain your bike. All right? Right on. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.